Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back to Melda242. I am Remelda. I am back after burying my brother this past Thursday. May his soul rest in peace. Now I'm preparing for you today a nice fried jackfish, green peas and rice and slaw. Okay, now I'm ready. I have some seasoned flour here. I will put all of the ingredients that I used in the description box, so be sure to check it out. Now I have about 11 to 12 jackfish. And they are the perfect size for my pan. So I'm just gonna flour them. Get all of them coated in this nice mixture. And then I'm gonna fry them out. Nice and dry. So what we do it. We're gonna have some nice fried jackfish today. Nice Bahamian green pigeon peas and rice. It's a cold slaw. That's number one. So I'll just flour a few of them on camera and I'll do the rest all just to save some time. Oh, I wanted some fish so bad, so bad. And my sister-in-law finally came through. So happy when she said she put this, put these together for us. Nice fresh jack fish. God, oh, it's good. It's number two. I am expecting my two daughters along with their family. And Inspector Bane. So, we're gonna be having some nice fish today. Now, you don't have to put the flour on if you don't want them on, but I'd like to have them a little extra crispy today. So, I just found out that I've been frying fish all along the wrong way. If you just want it fried, I just um, figured out a little apparatus. After frying them, just let them drain on this. Stay tuned, you'll see. Because once you put them on the paper towel, they're just soaking up all of the fat, the oil that you fry them in. And it's gonna, they're going to be soft. And you really don't want them to be soft after frying them. It's supposed to be a little crunchy, crispy. So you can use the same method for chicken or anything that you're frying and you want to eat it fried. Fish, the filet, use the same method. So I came up with this little apparatus. Just put the grill over, the, over a baking pan and just let the, allow the fat from the fish to drain out. All along, I was putting it on the paper towel. Wow, e! And I tried it one day, and it worked. So we're gonna have some nice, crunchy, delicious fried jacks. Oh my word! So all of the seasonings that I've used on them, they will be listed. There it is. That's for the finished fish. So after frying them, I just rest them on this. Fat is going to drain in the pan at the bottom. Now you can let these brown as dark as you want or as light. These are good enough for me. Okay, so I'm just going to let them drain in that. And these are some good ones. Fresh. Oh my word, I seasoned these from last night. so. The night before, so I have it. Lime, lime juice, salt, pepper flakes, onions, the works, celery, everything is on these. You can use black pepper. I didn't use black pepper because you know your girl don't like black pepper. It doesn't agree with my stomach, so try to stay away from it. 
That's three. Notice the way that I um, lay them in the pan. Head, tail, head, tail. That's the only way they'll fit. Three would fit in the pan, the frying pan. So I allow them to fry a bit and then I'll add the next one in. Just like that. All right, getting there. These are jackfish. Oh, what a splatter. Notice how I'm laying them in the pan. Another one finished. Nice, fresh jackfish. Oh my. This is it. It's going down here at the Thompsons today. We're having jackfish today. Now I've already started the green peas and rice. Everything will be listed. I do have a video on peas and rice, so you can follow that if you wish. That's the oil, the, the onion, celery, bell pepper, tomato paste, brownie, pigeon peas, thyme. All of the good stuff is already in this pot. And I'm just allowing them to fry down. Just added some salt. And that's just about a tablespoon, just to season what's already in the pot. Now the rice. Now some of you are going to say, oh, she didn't rinse the rice. I do sometimes and sometimes I don't, to be honest. So you can feel free to rinse your rice. I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Everyone is complaining that they're hungry and I'm taking so long. So, oh boy, didn't rinse the rice today, but it's still going to be great. So I'm just coating it with everything that's in the pot before adding the water. Now, like I said in the other video, you can, some people cook their rice the other way. They add the water first, but this is what I do. I like to coat my rice first before adding the water. This is the way I learned how to do it. I'm not saying this is the right way, but this is meld the 242 way, okay? Thank you. Now I'm just mixing everything together before adding more seasoning. It needs more salt, so you're gonna add enough salt to taste. Don't go overboard with it now. Less is always best. Mixing up, mixing up. All right. It's time to stir. All of the water has dried out. Now I'm just, it's not finished now. This is just the first mixing. Because after all of the water has dried out, all of the peas and the herbs are gonna rise to the top. So you wanna get it mixed up. So after stirring it, I'm just gonna let it go for the next eight to 10 minutes on low. Now it's ready. That's after eight to 10 minutes. See, it's less, it's less sticky. All right. I didn't add anything else. All I did is reduce the heat allow it to do its thing. Now I'm making the slaw. I don't know why, instead of gratering the carrots, I just like to cut them up. Yeah, this is what I like to do. Because I find out when you grated the carrots, they get brown, a little brown edge, and I don't like that. So I don't mind cutting them up. That's why I always go for the large carrots in the store. I'm just cutting up this cabbage. That's the spread. Everything is gonna be listed in the box below. Description box. That's the jacks. Green peas and rice. Creamy cold slaw. Oh my word. It's going down today. And it's so nice to be back with you. Oh my word. That's it. That's the serving right there. Thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end. Please share it out. Give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Please remember to check the description box for everything that was used today. God bless you. And I will see you in the next one. It's great to be back home with you today. God bless you.